Hey, what's going on everyone? So today we're going to be playing some 60 seconds. And and if you do not leave a like in the next 15 seconds, this will happen to you. Fuck off, oh, sweet! God damn it! Alright. So let's get into the video. So, 60 seconds is a nuclear survival game based into a I don't know how to explain it based more of a um, shelter game and explorer game it's pretty fun and pretty easy to get it's only five bucks for a mobile game ten dollars on steam I'll have those both links in the description I'm talking a little weird because I have a two canker source and my tongue's not doing too bad well I think I bit it so I may be talking weird. Very painful. And yeah. So let's get into the video. So I think it's wanting me to have the map. Sorry from not posting for four three days. I know it was like a little lazy. Alright, day three. Gotta get some water. I fed Timmy. Tommy, I don't know. I don't know what happened to the fat cow. She ran while he died. It's kind of weird. She died, and, or I, I don't know. She was never with us. I just don't feel like reading this right now because I don't like talking that much. But if you want to read it, just pause the video. <coughs> Time to ration supplies. I don't want to feed him. Alright, we gotta ration some food for him. I'm gonna make her go outside. I'm gonna give her a pack of cards so she can survive. <laughs> with a pack of cards, I guess. Maybe she can go kill things with a pack of cards. Day five. Wait, is it raining outside? Uh, I don't know, I can't see. Day six. I sadly forget to feed the dad. I mean, give him drink, and he dies sadly. Cause how smart I am. All right. Day seven. I'm gonna have to feed feed the family next. Give him some water. I did, so he, he should be good. I don't know what I did wrong. Yeah, I'm running out of water. If you want to beat the game, the best mount is to kill two of the family members 
so you don't have to feed them. It's kind of selfish, but I mean, if you want to survive and do as much as you can for the game, you may have to do, kill two of them and leave one or two to survive the game. If you have a whole family to feed, the more food it takes to feed them, the more time and more food you need. So I'm, I'm thinking that you have to have less people to survive a better survival. There's I, I've played the game more that there's actually ways that you can actually beat it. So the mom's left to be depressed, sadly, because I was stupid not to feed her day 10. I mean, they lived 10 days for at least on the shelter, so at least that was okay. Day 13, we know I can't read it that fast. Turn the supplies, time to ration the supplies. Feed mom so she can do more. I'm guessing that what I'm just gonna have to feed her so and get her healthy so she can go find some stuff. That was a weird crack. Crack my arm. <laughs> this game's kind of depressing, sadly. It's kind of, I mean, it's supposed to be because it's a, you're living in nuclear war and I, I don't know what the base of this survival you just into a I'm guessing a nuclear war because it's 60 seconds it mostly bases that off of there but it kind of seems depressing in the game all about because your family will die most of the time they're not really happy and yeah there's ways to make them happy but most of the times they can go out in a sad way and so but I'm thinking I'm going to end off this video right now. If you like it, please leave a uh, like and comment and subscribe. Watch your installs. We'll kiss you in the bed. See you.